Great. So I'm going to show you how you can add a gradient to a shape or how really the gradient panel works. So if you don't see the gradient, you might need to click and hold. You might, um, it might be underneath the paint bucket tool. So if the paint bucket tool is showing, you can click and hold to find the gradient. You'll notice in the, um, the color palette at the bottom, you have two colors and whatever colors you have selected here, when you select the gradient menu, it's going to automatically default to those two colors. So if you know what two colors you want to experiment with, you can simply create your gradient this way, or you can double click on the gradient menu and you can double click and select as many colors as you want. You can even double click here or add, okay, maybe not. So you can select more than one on the left or right you can have whatever kind of gradient. You can click and drag across, that, that's it. You can um, change the level of the gradient and play around with it to be however you want it to be. So now when I press OK, and again, the way that I got there is I just double clicked here and I can um, select the gradient editor. And now what I'm gonna do is make sure I'm, I don't have any layers selected. I select the, the gradient. Now I'm going to click and drag my gradient across. It's going to fill my whole page. So you'll notice I, sorry, I'm going to make a new layer. So the bottom right-hand corner next to the trash can, make a new layer for my gradient. And then I can click and drag to fill the gradient. I can always say, edit undo. Maybe I want to try it from this side. Maybe I want to try it from the bottom. Notice mine goes from green to pink. So whichever, I, whichever direction I drag from, it's gonna go from green to pink. So if I go left to right, it'll be green to pink. If I go up to down, it'll be green to pink. So however I want to do that. And then using the move tool, I can put that layer on top of whichever shape I want. And then using that barreling trick with Alt, I can push it into that layer. So I can move the gradient around. Notice it's somewhat changing. I can resize it if I want it to be all visible in this shape. So you'll notice here's that gradient layer. It is going inside of that shape. Now um, what I can do is hold down the shift key, select both of those. If I like that gradient the way it is, I can right click and say um, merge layers. So that will make it one shape with um, with the gradient inside, I just made the um, just made the shape in the gradient. So again, you first select your gradient, you create a new layer, you drag and create your gradient on your layer, and then you need to put the gradient layer on top of the shape you want it to go inside. Press Alt, click, it drops into the shape at which point you can move, oops, you notice here, I didn't even realize when it's barreled in there, I can draw, I can redraw the gradient, play around with however I want it to be. So when I decide that's how I want it to stay, I can um, choose select or shift to select both of the layers. So holding shift will allow me to select both. I can right click and say merge layers. And now I have, oops, I'm still on my gradient. Now I have back in my move tool, I have my, my shape with a gradient inside. You see all these different ones here. I could do the same. I can select shift. I can merge all of them into one layer. Now it's one layer. I can take my gradient, a brand new gradient. and make a new layer above it, fill my page, make sure my layer is on top, and then using Alt, click, and now I've put it inside of there. So that's a little bit about creating shapes and using gradients inside of your shapes.